Oh. Hello and welcome to Tiny Blue Games. Today we're playing Wildstar. I am Seesaw <laughs> or Chris. <laughs> Beside me I have Salvage or Ryan. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And on the <laughs> other side of me I have Brandon or Marks. Yay. <laughs> You're so uninfused. Welcome hey. to the crazy Healer. techno healer guy wah, in wah, wah, wild wah, 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 wah. No, but... Um, <laughs> Welcome to the medic. <laughs> Welcome to the medic. This is the medic overview. We've done other overviews. This one is the medic. What it is our last overview for classes, actually. Too, yes, right? yes yeah. it is. is. What Hooray. if his heel had like the sound effect that Hypnotoad does when in Futurama? Oh my god, like, I love that. Would be, I love that idea. Or if you could just have him sitting on your like head. So, I don't know. That's get, <laughs> it's getting off topic here. This is yeah. All right, okay. let's talk about the actual Bring medic. It in. Skill. <laughs> let's reel them back in. <laughs> um, so before you click to the next video on your suggested bar, let's talk about the medic. Um, come on guys, what, what do we got? What? I'd say he's the most played, and I would say that's because... I'd say, I think Wildstar classes overall are very unique, and I think a lot of that is because they kind of went with a sci-fi genre. But I'd say, both in how it plays and like the actual like design behind what it is, the Medic is the most unique class I've seen in a very long time. Maybe, yeah. I'd say he's the most field-oriented. Like, the most ground and field-oriented. Not just ground targeting, but like something that you put on the ground and stays there for a while and will pulse. Yeah, exactly. Like, I love the fields. The fields are very cool and unique completely to the Medic. Um, because you got damaging one, you got healing ones, you got snares, you've got stuns, knock downs. There's probably. a lot of useful stuff that they can do. There's mm -hmm. a lot of. Co it, I find they're very AOE. Mm -hmm. Either heals or DPS. You don't really have much in the way of single target, so you're doing the AOE. Um, but you can do a lot of damage with that AOE, which makes you a very menacing thing. Mm -hmm. Because if you're fighting a healer and the flag carrier, you're hitting both of them at the same time. So the healer has to, you know, make a choice at some point who to heal more. <laughs> Uh, and might end up dying because of that. Uh, talking weapons here, the resonators are different from any other game. Yeah. You know, we're talking, like, you know, you got the claws, which are kind of different, but they're like the daggers or fist weapons that you've seen in other mm -hmm. games. The resonators are completely... Unique. Unique. New. I don't even really know what they are. Like, that's <laughs> how unique they are. Um, I mean, they, they're, they're scientific, but what... what they scan things. I think what they were actually going with is like shock paddles, like clearing. like when you're yeah yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I think that's probably the design that behind gives them. Gives out radiation. It's good for you. That's yeah. good for Do you. Do not try this at home. No, no, <laughs> definitely don't try it at home. Um, you know, they we they wear the uh, medium armor, right? Yeah. So they're going to be a little bit more tanky mm -hmm. than your uh, light wearers, but you know they also <laughs> <laughs> just speaking generally here, they're going to be a bit more tanky. Which also talks to the fact that they can stay on the ground more, like Brandon was saying, mm -hmm. right? Like, they're, they're a solid healer as well as DPS. They, they can keep them to themselves very mm -hmm. well in a fight. Yeah. I don't know how relevant this would be to, like, actually playing the end game, but if I, I'd say as a standalone class in terms of just, like, solo adventuring, a medic would probably be the most easiest and fun because they got a lot of really crazy, like, snares and stuns. They're really cool, I think, like, overall... They'd be really fun to actually just, like, do the quest grind on and stuff like that. They'd be really fun to do that on. All right, so now we'll show you some of the footage we have with the medic throughout the uh, beta, so enjoy. All right, so we're starting with a bit of medic PvP DPS. Uh, we see that we're going in for the mask here. Pretty good class to go <laughs> in for masks. Like, I mean, you... I, well... There's two ways to put it. You you have a lot of AOE damage, so you can hurt all the healers and people defending the mask, as well as the mask carrier. Um, however, you don't have really any single target heals or damage, which is yeah. super weird for PvP, because you kind of want it. Like, I mean, it's different in Wildstar, because you don't have as many of those because of the telegraph system. Mm -hmm. But it is, it's weird not having yeah. a lot of single target damage. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, they're great for protecting masks as well here because yeah. you got all the dots. I the put my AOEs two are the AOEs is ridiculous. Like yeah. it's a, uh, it's a really <laughs> fun class for AOE damage. I mean, you have your fields down, you have your little probes that do damage around to everyone, and then you got your scans. Like you've yeah. got just constant AOE damage yeah. around it, and even like AOE like crowd control abilities. It's the, the stun. I mean. It, Pretty much every class has, like, yeah. the five-person stun or whatever that you get. A lot, which is nice. That's really great mm -hmm. for balancing that everyone has the stun. Because mm -hmm. in a lot of games, that's what separates certain classes at low levels is that one of them will have, like, a five-second stun. Yeah. 
and they'll just go and stun you know the person they're going against and kill them pretty much like like yeah. it was nothing and that really this is a different thing in this game yeah for sure yeah uh the medic's really interesting it's i think it's the best display of where they can go with telegraphs in their classes it's a really cool class overall and the weapons the resonators are really unique and pretty cool yeah they're, they're super unique actually because i mean when you hear resonators y you don't really know what to picture in your head like at least mm -hmm. i didn't well i do now but i didn't before so you see here actually i'm gonna get another mass carrier on his way into this base i think this is number three <laughs> there was some if this was a pretty good game of pvp for me um then th this kind of talks to actually the battleground this is a really interesting battleground because it's capture the flag but it, it gives you a more of a you need to protect your base and attack the other persons mm -hmm. like if you can control the base you can control the game very much so mm -hmm. um and the medic was great for this because you can interrupt people from taking masks and you just keep constant pressure on everyone which is really hard as a healer if like you're getting attacked as well as two other people versus just you getting attacked, it's a lot harder to heal. Like, you, yeah. you must agree with that, right? Oh, being a oh, healer yeah. in PvP. Yeah. If you just have to worry about yourself, it's not nearly as much of a thing. Yeah, for sure. And that's the nice thing about the medic is, again, with all the AoE heals, yeah. You know? It's just, it's really fun. And, and I mean, it's not just PvP. When we get to PvE, we have a lot of fun with, um... Oh, yeah. Like, if you're healing your group, as long as they all sort of stay clustered up, you're doing quite nice with the medic. Yeah. Because you can keep the AoE heals. Uh, you have some more big heals that take some of your, um... It's almost a combo point system, eh? For, for yeah, the, uh... somewhat. Yeah. Medic. I mean, we should maybe talk on that, actually. Um, as it, uh... Because you have builders and you have ones that spend it. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, completely combo point-ish but it it definitely feels that way yeah it's you got your builders and it's very much a s similar system to you know combo points and stuff like that it's weird for a medic like a healer slash a dps to have a combo point system it's weird that like you know rogues or the stalkers i guess in this game yeah. uh, don't have a combo point system but the medic has a combo point system yeah, that is kind of a good point, yeah, Because actually. the stalkers always... Like, the rogues of the game usually go around combo points. Like, that's... Mm -hmm. Most games like to do that with them because it just works really well for having your big finishers and kind of that kind of stuff. Whereas now they're more concerned about, like, energy and stuff like that. Yeah, but... it, it puts a different feel on it, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, so you notice the DPS is great because you can uh, choose where you put down your fields with your mouse. So it's got the, uh, the freeform kind of targeting... Um, and it's very handy because you have two charges, so you can put them on top of each other if everyone's stacked up nicely. Yeah. Or you can spread it out if you're, like, say, running with your flag carrier and you want to have a big, long field of dazing behind yeah. you because you can just sort of place the fields in a row. Mm -hmm. And then they have to walk through it and get dazed if they're sprinting, which yeah. is... Uh, the fields are really cool. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're super cool. Um, and you get, like, a lot of various different ones that you can use and ramp up together in crazy well, yeah exactly ways. you've got the um the damage ones the heals ones there's um for sure some slow or snare ones yeah um and i'm not you must be able to have all of them on your bar if you want oh to, yeah i assume I, I haven't and i think you can stack them like all up on the same like area, area so that you could do like just mess people stun up, right? and then put both damage ones down and they just have to like sit there and watch you <laughs> it's kind of almost like a mark in uh guild wars 2 like the uh the uh, uh da, 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 the necromancer is what i'm yeah. trying to say <laughs> <laughs> if i can remember um because you put them down and they're like that little area is going to get damaged whereas the marks you do that too for the necromancer um mm -hmm. which is kind of cool because these guys aren't at all like a necromancer no they're not not even like a little bit but they have a little bit of similarity with the um having little damage fields yeah which no, none other class really has per se yeah, not not to the extent that they do. No, not I'm, every class I'm sure has something, has something like that. Like but that but yeah, maybe not to that extent. Uh, so now we're gonna switch up into more of a bit of a healing discussion here. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see some of the heals here. This is your builder. Um, the healing and the DPS are very um, similar. Like yeah. they've got a lot of skills that kind of work the same, just different mm -hmm. looks and stuff. Yeah, which is kind of nice because you can sort of go from playing heals to DPS, and you don't have to play or like change your play style very much. Mm -hmm. Whereas a lot of classes, 
you really do have to change how you're playing, yeah. how you're thinking, mm-hmm. all that. Um, maybe do not get more uh, wrecked. Go ahead if you have something. Well, I think the like most the amazing the use for medic, I think, is going to, well, I mean, they're, they're a really good all around, but I think what they'll, like, be amazing is in, like, a 40-man raid or something where all the DPS have to stack on a spot to hit, like, all the um, close-range DPS have to stack on a spot to hit the boss. Like, the medic's just going to be able to hit, like, all of them. It'll be... You just have your fields just down have a as couple, well as, yeah. Yeah, just have a couple medics there to heal the group. I think healing is going to excel in that sense. I think, I think they can do both, for sure. They definitely can. But I think it would be a lot easier in terms of playstyle to be a more group AoE healer than be, you know, a raid healer that pretty much just focuses on the tank the whole time. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's more of a group healer for sure. Yeah. Um, how do, The uh, medium armor and sort of being mid-range, like, it, it's a different playstyle for mm-hmm. a healer as well, as you're kind of up in the action all the time. Yeah. That's me reloading my UI. <laughs> they are having some troubles with the uh, nameplates in uh, the 10-day, uh, the open beta where the uh, add-on would crash every so often, and that was terrible as a healer, so I had to go and reload my UI as soon as that happened. (laughs) (laughs) But speaking of, you know, the medium armor, I think it gives a lot of versatility to the medic, and it's definitely, you know, the sort of armor they should have, because it just gives them a little more toughness than, you know, somebody who's casting, because they need that little bit of extra armor because of the fact that they're medium range, so they're going to be very vulnerable. They're going to get and, more hits, yeah. yeah just... And they're all, you know, they can cast and move, so they're still a very mobile class in terms of both heals and DPS, so the medium armor is really appropriate for them, I think. And they're, Yeah, they're very good at casting and healing now that yeah. you mentioned that, actually. Like, even, like, the uh, sort of bigger... the uh, It takes two of your um, uh, combo point sort of situation. That uh, square heal... Um, it does a lot of healing, and you can do it on the move, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of other healers have, like for their big ones, have to stand still. I mean, especially the Esper does that a lot for yeah. some of its bigger casts, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Spellslinger has kind of a mix of both of them, whereas the uh, yeah. Medic has a lot of uh, mobility while they're doing damage. Mm-hmm. For sure, yeah. Uh, and you actually notice in PvP here that I keep my damage fields up as well as healing, uh, which is always handy if you're sort of like protecting your base with a bunch yeah. of people you can throw up a uh, field on top of the uh, flag area even if it's not doing crazy damage well it just, just needs to just hit the them right fa- yeah. yeah just and also just the fact that like there's a huge red square there because they don't know if you have it like crazy decked out they don't really know what it is yet because it's beta so just that huge red you square just don't that understand you have it there, exactly yeah, you, yeah you're timid to run into it in case it is just like crazy well it, that's a big thing for the telegraphs in this game is that at this stage in the game, you know, people aren't really going to know exactly what skills being used just by the shape of the telegraph mm-hmm. yet. Yeah. Like, I mean, at some point, I'm sure everyone will sort of know. Yeah, you can sort of tell. Like, you can tell when you're about to get hit by, like, the swords of an esper just because it's that, like, yeah. big straight rectangle. You well, know? exactly. You can sort of know, but it's, it's not mm-hmm. quite there yet. Oh, yeah. No. At any rate, great for PvP, great for PvE, mm-hmm. great for heals, great for damage. Um, I mean really ultimately quite a fun class mm-hmm. <laughs> to uh do stuff in you see we had, we had quite a fun doing some pvp uh on the medic actually that's probably what i did the most of them and i found that they were very good at it like i never felt like you know oh i wish i had that class to go against you know something yeah like it wasn't like oh my god why am i playing this class yeah not that i really felt that way on any of the classes but i'd say the medic was um Definitely up there for PvP. Just the mobility really speaks to that. The healing, healing and PvP is like they they go hand in hand. Um, if you want to be good for your team, I also think for like arenaing in terms of like PvP arenas, it'll be great for actually like controlling the flow of the map and you know getting mm-hmm. actual like control of where they can kind of go. Because just the fact that there's so many AOEs, there's so many fields that you can put down, you can really kind of. Yeah. almost trap them in a way like because you can see at times we put down both your fields like they're kind People of timid and they yeah. yeah and they end up just sort of well you see the flag carriers kind of yeah. like go around a bit longer way just so yeah. you don't run through the field um which is great because you can kind of use it to slow down the flag carrier while mm-hmm. you're waiting for your uh, team to catch up with you yeah um and like i say it also dazes people who run through it yeah so i think that's pretty much wrapping up our footage we have of the pvp and pve um 
you know, just really fun. Uh, <laughs> there's not much more I can say than that. There's nothing I'd say against the medic, just great. All right, so that was the footage of our beta coverage for the meta medic, I guess. <laughs> medic. <laughs> Med medic. <laughs> uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. We we enjoyed, yeah. well, we've enjoyed every class. So you're going to hear the same It's an awesome steel. game. Yeah. It's an awesome game. We're super excited for launch. Um, 10 days. 10, 10, 10 days. Yeah, no, that's pretty close to what, yeah. Um, the medic, I mean, really fun, very unique. Um, I think it's the best display of the telegraphs and what Wildstar wanted to go for with its combat system. It is. It's got a lot of telegraphs. It's kind of, I mean, it, it was their class that they sort of surprised people with at the end, wasn't it? Yeah, well, uh, that and the engineer. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah. so, um, I, I don't know. I love it. I love the uh, style. The It's cool that you're kind of science -y, Yeah. Um, but you've got, you know, sort of different... You got futuristic gears. Yeah. What you're gonna have a lot. That's yeah. what you're gonna look forward to in Endgame. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's not anything to uh, <laughs> be upset about. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. So, you know, thanks for watching this. If you like the video, be sure to like it because it really does help us. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to our channel for more Wildstar videos as well as Guild Wars Two. Um, and leave your comment. Do you like the medic? Do you dislike the medic? You know, give me your thoughts. <laughs> um, as far as overviews, we're all done the class overviews, but we're going to have some more stuff coming up before the launch of the game here. Um, I'll link the ones we've already done on the screen, so pretty much all the classes. So if you want to go check some other ones out, go check them out right now. <laughs> um, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to like it. If you have a comment about it or a suggestion for a future video, please leave one. If you have friends, share it. And finally, and most importantly, subscribe. Honestly, only one of these is red. Click it.